Welcome into Drew Silly Diamonds for Tuesday, October 8th, 2024. I am Drew Martin breaking down the slate of games. Let me know in the comments below what your MLB picks are for today. Where you agree, where you disagree, all is welcome. We got the two MLB playoff games. We got a college football Tuesday nighter getting going in Conference USA. We're going to be breaking it all down on today's show. So let's start off here. First game up in order of first pitch, 5 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Pacific. We are heading to New York for the Mets hosting the Phillies. Series tied up one game apiece as they go from Philadelphia to New York. It's Aaron Nola on the hill for the Phillies. Sean Manaya, the lefty, going for the Metropolitans. Total of seven, minus 110, tight spread here. That is the Phillies is the short road favorite. In the first two games, both went over the total, by the way. Um, and Philadelphia on a seven straight overrun. So that's something to look at here, guys. They haven't hit many unders lately. They got Aaron Nola on the hill, the first rounder out of LSU. Go tag is 16 hits his last two starts. So he's been hit around a little bit and his last time against this Mets lineup. He lasted four and a third, six earned runs, gave up two bombs. He's up against Sean Manaya here in the pitching matchup. The Southpaw Manaya, 6'5", 235 pounder, the 32 year old. He was knocked around his last time out against the Brewers, actually both of his last two starts. Now, granted, it was against the same lineup in the Brewers. They can hit a little bit. Nine runs, last 10 innings pitched. He lost the last two starts, again, both against the Brewers. So a little bit question. It it makes it kind of a tricky handicap on Mania for me anyway. I go back to that, you know, Phillies overrun. It's been hitting. And the Mets, sure enough, for their last five games to the over, um, And actually, when you go back, you know, to the regular season between the Phillies and the Mets, three of the last four in this series have gone over. Five of the last seven have also gone over. We know both of these lineups can hit it around. It's not that these pitchers are too bad. I mean, Aaron Nola has his question marks of recent. So does Manaya. We just went through that. I just think both lineups get after it. We get a low total here, guys. Seven flat. You know, we get to eight runs. Five, three. That that gets us there. I like the over Phillies and Mets to lead us off here on Tuesday night. Early start. Happy hour special on the East Coast. We got next game up 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific time. It is the Dodgers and the Padres. Man, what a series here in Southern California. Michael King on the hill for the Friars. Walker Bueller going for the Dodgers. Seven in the hook being the total. Padres anywhere from minus 140 to as high as minus 155 as the home favorite. Again, this series tied up a game apiece, both series here on Tuesday night, and they go from LA to San Diego off the off day. Walker Bueller on the hill for the Dodgers. Michael King, we just went through that, guys. We have Walker Bueller up and down season so far. I mean, you know, he's getting the start for the Dodgers, but it kind of speaks towards their pitching injuries so far this year he's got over a five era over a five five whip on the season and kind of going back to last year remember he was out due to injuries so he's not a guy i'm really looking to bet on now you might be surprised by looking at this number i mean the pot you know the dodgers catching a pretty big plus price here as the underdog but i think there's reasons why guys i mean michael king the starter for the friars if you've been watching the show throughout the summer i mean we've been on this guy a bunch probably bet on him more than any other pitcher when his uh, rotation spot came in the 29 year old out of boston college sub three era two flat era in his last 14 starts that goes back to the month of june we've been riding him. we're not going to look to go the other way by any means i mean 92 strikeouts since the end of june His only start against the Dodgers in Petco, he went seven full innings, only giving up two hits, had 11 strikeouts, blanking this Dodgers lineup. Uh, You go back to kind of the full season bet on metrics. The Padres up 12 units on the season, meaning if you bet them every game. And the Dodgers, yeah, sexy record, but they were actually negative units. So kind of being priced a little bit overboard. I like this Padres lineup against righties. They get right a righty and Bueller, you know, with some question marks here. They were one of the lineups with the largest discrepancy between lefties and righties. This is the number three lineup overall in MLB by weighted runs created plus against righties, against lefties near bottom 10. Overall, guys, the Padres just won game two, 10 to two. I think they ride it here. I think the odds makers are telling us something. Low watermark, minus 140. That's the Padres. Listing Michael King as the starter. 
We're on the Padres over the Dodgers. Guys, in recap from uh, the weekend, we were on that 7-0 and run uh, Saturday and Sunday, sweeping the board college football, sweeping the board in the NFL on the show. If you could help me out, you know, smash that like button, comment below. It helps out the algorithm. Anything is welcome. Really do appreciate you guys in there. Any questions, fire away as well. We'll try to answer them on the show. So a 7-0 and run and 10-1 and run on the show Red hot here, Drew's Daily Diamond. That is going into Monday night, full disclosure. I am doing this going into the overnight market, so I can't recap Monday's show, but hopefully it's a good one. Do feel good about that. Also, premium picks, wagertalk.com, $5 Tuesday. Top play up and available. You can get it for just $5. All right, last game up for the Tuesday night slate, 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific on CBS Sports Network. It's the solo college football game in Conference USA. It's the FIU Golden Panthers heading on the road to face the Liberty Flames. Liberty minus 17 in the hook. Home favorites, 54 and a half being the total. Liberty comes in 4-0 on the season. They won four straight this year. They've won 13 of their last 14 games overall. And they're up against FIU, just two and three on the year off of a, what, four and eight season last year. Look, the whole world's going to be on Liberty here. There's a lot of reasons why. I mean, this is a Liberty team that actually has their eye on making the playoffs. I think it's an out, you know, outside chance. But if they run the table, uh, they're going to need games like this. You know, the only college football game to run up the score. So you can see why. And that could definitely happen. I don't think it will, though, guys. I really don't. I, I This FIU team, I think, is running a little bit under the radar. And I know I'm in the minority here, but they just won last week over Louisiana Tech. They won outright as the underdog. Ma Mike McIntyre's defense already has six interceptions on the season. Uh, their quarterback, Kenyon Jenkins, he's uh, from Miami Central High School. He's in his first year as the starter. After an offseason, which I like, if you haven't seen FIU play, I know a lot of people haven't. He's a good athlete. You know, this guy coming out of high school, he won the state championship there in Miami. He actually got scholarship offers to the SEC, but chose to play quarterback at FIU. He can run around. He can throw it. Um, I'm looking to kind of look to bet on him, particularly when catching a bunch of points here. It's also an interesting spot play with Liberty. They had an off week. And then their game last week got canceled. So they're off of like a double buy. And, you know, is that a positive? Is that a negative? They also dealing with their own kind of weather issues there, you know, with their home life, um, with the hurricane coming through there. So it just makes it really tricky for it. Could it be Russ? Could they be extra prepared? I guess all of them are situations to watch out for. But Liberty, yes, 4-0, they're only 1-3 against the spread, so they really haven't been covering numbers. And again, guys, FIU off of the win. Hey, let's ride it here. Golden Panthers plus the 17 and a hook Tuesday night Conference USA football. We are on the big dog, FIU plus 17 and a half. In recap on the Mets and Phillies, up and over 7 in the Padres. Michael King on the hill. Minus 140. Check out $5 top play. 4% are up and available. Wagertalk.com. Guys, that's going to do it for the Tuesday show. Comment below. Smash that like button. We'll be back on Wednesday. Come back and join us. Until then, enjoy the rest of your Tuesday. Cash those tickets.